Have you ever wondered how to bring more erotic energy into your relationship? Perhaps you're not sure how to approach your partner. Perhaps you're not even sure what you want to ask for. We're going to talk about that a little bit today, about what erotic energy is and how you can bring the type that you want into your relationship. But first, here's the show reel. So what is energy? Let's start with that. Energy is a combination of what is your mood and what is your intention. So it's what you're bringing to the table. It's not what you're doing, but it's how you're doing it. We affect each other just by being in the room. In fact, scientific studies have shown that our heart rate changes, our hormones change just by the people that we are around. Isn't that interesting? So one of the things people ask is how do you bring more eroticism into the bedroom or even into everyday life to make your relationship more playful, more fun, and more exciting. Have you ever noticed that you pick up on the mood of your partner? So that's why it's really important for you to know what mood and what intention you're trying to set, what energy you're trying to set. There are different types of erotic energy. So for example, we often think about romantic energy, right? We go out on our anniversary date or we go out on our birthday date and we make it special with candlelight and flowers and chocolate and all the things and very romantic. And that's one type of energy. But how about a dominant energy? Where you start being a little bit more dominant with your partner, where you start asking for what you want. You get a little bit more aggressive and aggressive doesn't necessarily mean rough or you can be more submissive, asking them for what you want in a different way, playing, inviting them in. You can make ener erotic energy playful. You can make it very primal, very raw. You can make it worshipful, teasing, dominant, right? There are all kinds of ways to bring in different energy. So first decide what you want. Like for example, if you want to be spanked, do you want to be spanked gently? and teasingly, or do you want to be spanked hard and forcefully? Right, so knowing exactly not only what you want, but how you want it is going to be very, very important. So have you ever tried bringing a different mood in with your partner? Now might be the time to explore. Start talking to your partner honestly about what it is that you want and let them know that you're going to be bringing in this new energy that you want to try different things and ask them to play along. So that way, A, they're not confused when you start bringing in a different energy. Or maybe if you want to be more dominant, maybe if you want it to be more primal, you don't communicate with them at all and you just bring it in and see how they react and then tell them in the middle of it, this is what I want, this is how I want it. So you get to play with all of these things. So first, I want you to write down, what is it that you want? How do you want it? What would you ideally imagine it to be like? What are your desires? Right? Remember, desire is different than fantasy. Desire is something that you can actually do and that your partner is actually willing to do. All right? So write down your desires. How would that look? And you can get into it enough that you're clear about what you want and how you're going to ask for it, but not so much that you ha are set on exactly the process, right? So it's kind of this uh, mix of knowing your desire, but being able to play, play with it and also be open to whatever shows up. So write it down, decide how you're going to interact with it. Are you going to talk with your partner about it first? Are you not? How are you going to execute? and then play and have fun and just know that it may not work the first time and don't get frustrated. You may have to do it a few times to get the feel, to get into the rhythm, to get into the energy. But remember, if you bring that energy up in yourself first, you're gonna allow your partner to get in that energy more easily. So remember that you're loved, you're loving, and you're lovable. Good luck, have fun.